Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today, we are going to help you to avoid to be a scam. If you like the content of the channel, please subscribe. It's free. Hit the like button and share. Also, you can enjoy the rest of the content of the channel. Videos, shorts, podcasts, are free. All right, so, Let's go. So you may be wonder what is this about? This is about to avoid to be a scam by the mini PC Core i9 scam. So let's open. Actually, I was planning to uh, record um, unboxing, but well, let's see. It's about this. This little thing. Intel inside Okay, and that's it. No more info So what is the problem? Well, the problem is pay attention of this kind of product because There is nothing else on the box But the thing is this is an scam guys this is an scam Because this thing is not a core i9 so i'm going to share the screen and let's find out what is this about by the way did you see the qr code that appeared on the screen over there this is for your security because now we are going to learn how to be protected against the scammers but also there are a lot of viruses around the world so Scan the QR code to get Surfshark, the best antivirus protection for you and your family. All right, this is the mini PC. Uh, well, the cable, the power cord is uh, very short, so I'm gonna move too much, but let me turn it on. All right, uh, let's see what happened on the screen. Alright, let's see the machine starting. Okay, Intel inside. Cool. Well, the screen is, is the brightness is um, too high. Well, let's see the windows. Alright, cool. PC, username. Windows 11. So the first thing, actually, this is the first thing that you need to do, right? When you bought this kind of machine, just start Windows after the configuration, go to Tax Manager, and please verify here in performance what the heck is this computer. Okay, let me show you. So, all right, Intel Core i9. Hmm. Okay. Second thing, let's go here, right click, and click on Device Manager. On Device Manager, check out the CPU. Where is it? Processors here, the CPU. All right, according to this, Intel Core i9. Well, <laughs> pay attention. Let me close everything. Now, I prepare a pen drive. This pen drive. And I'm going to connect the pen drive here. Let me show you this. This PC. Well, actually, that is the original partition that uh, came with the, with the computer. Okay, we have the pen drive. I prepared these portable apps. It's pretty cool because um, you can run a lot of um, very useful uh, tools and you don't need to install those tools. Let's start with the first one. CPU frequency. 
to be a frequency let's see what is the opinion of this tool this is the first time that i'm running this kind of tool on the computer well according to this intel core i9 well second tool cpu c cpu c oh what is that what happened here <laughs> do you see intel celeron and 5095 what a surprise well what is going on here let's check out actually i'm going to keep this open but uh, intel core i9 uh, over here intel core i9 here intel celeron hmm okay let's open another tool hardware info pretty cool hardware info let's run star what a surprise well 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 again intel celeron that's it let me zoom it intel celeron yeah all right so pretty easy this is the window that appeared at the first time those are the cpu activity cpu clock over here and uh, over here let's see central processors intel celeron again what a surprise okay let me do this perfect so cpu brand name intel celeron intel jasper lake 10 nanometers uh basically the same thing that the cpu c says uh, actually the when i try to move the windows uh, i have a lag here huh all right 10 nanometers okay main board hmm main board wow manufacturer the full string yeah sure yeah yeah exactly the full string huh oh look at this motherboard on hardware info the full string the full string do you think that is normal i don't think so because it's uh any serious manufacturer put his brand and the model over here not default string hmm very suspicious let's go over here to run another tool this is the first sign that i run this tool let me check wow interesting well i think that this tool is not meant for uh, windows 11 because os version or no but this is very interesting this kind of tool is taking information from the operating system not from the real hardware like uh, or as hardware info and cpuc so four tools two tool fails let's check out and uh, here just click on wrong ms info 32 this info 32 again the full string the full string the full string very suspicious hmm uh, i don't know if you can see it but this is a small lag like a one millisecond or something when i move the mouse that is not normal that is impossible to be a core i9 so what's going on well pretty easy the vendor uh, uh, is running a, a scam this is not uh, so complicated because uh, he modified the operating system because uh, those tools 
or any tool that get uh, information or hardware information from the operating system is going to fail it's going to say a uh, core i9 but uh, oh like again wow Oof. this wow but the real tools like this one wow look at the, the lack again now it's working <laughs> amazing this is impossible to be a, a, a core i9 this is a intel celeron intel celeron intel celeron oh let me let me check something check something here on the graphic hmm. no no info really intel ultra high definition graphic with nothing empty really come on impossible and here uh well basically jasper lake wow pci express 2.0 really one gig of run <laughs> incredible wow what an scam guys but despite any info from any software running on this uh, modified version of windows if you want to know the truth just restart the computer so i'm going to restart the computer and like again come on move it going to restart um let's go inside the bios basically sometimes you can press uh, the delete key or f2 i'm pressing both keys to see what happened all right wow wow what is that jasper lake intel celeron that's it this is a scam as simple as that there is no core i9 this is just an intel celeron so be aware when you you know um, look for this kind of uh, mini pc that says uh, core well, i don't know core i7 i9 or whatever just make sure at the moment that you open the box please connect the computer and check out the bios not the windows all right because this vendor trick the windows to look like a uh, core i9 but it's very interesting the first time when i turn on the computer i open the task manager is the first thing that I, I i always do and surprise i take a picture and says intel celeron and says what but suddenly the task manager close and i open again the task manager oh magic the core i9 appear so it's an um, it's an scam as simple as that there is no other thing because a real computer on manufacturer name the full string what is that manufacturer name product name serial uh, number yeah serial number the full string the only is that a strain number of UUID well maybe it's true maybe not right now I don't know I I, I just don't trust any of the this uh, information that because uh the computer was manipulated as simple as that but it seems that it's not possible to manipulate the real information of the processor intel celeron not core i9 so but the rest of the bios well like another normal bios have a lot a lot of things let me check intel txt information uh nothing very strange chipset security boot safe so i'm going to discard anything and reset yes and let's see windows running and again so now it's restarting actually let me try to actually let me try to show to the camera the computer is over here and that's it 
this is the computer and uh, it's running here but the power cord is too short so windows again uh, let me do this run Wimber Windows 11 let me zoom it yeah Windows 11 22H2 all right nothing strange here but as you saw on the BIOS this is not a real Core i9 actually it's too slow I have the, the lack problem uh, come on no stuck all the time it's annoying performance <laughs> Core i9, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, sure, <laughs> incredible. So please be aware of this kind of uh, scan and any other scan like the the video that show over here about the scan of the Apple Pencil. Um, yep, let's check out again with luck again portable apps so reliable application hardware info tap read let me check sensors only hmm. let's see what happened if there is any any different mm, Intel Celeron <laughs> that's it no doubt no doubt Intel Celeron Intel Celeron, Intel Celeron, that's it, but that easy at that. Using the real sensors of the real hardware, not uh, some kind of trick that this uh, person uh, do some modification even in, in the BIOS and on Windows. But this is the, the true, it's just an Intel Celeron. You maybe think uh, or you can think about what what happened with the price mm, well actually if we check this uh, Intel uh, Core i9 uh, 8950HK well this is not the latest technology it's, it's an old one version of the Core i9 so maybe the price is like a uh, well it's not so bad because it's not a, a new technology so sometimes you can uh, you know the, the the price lower prices are suspicious but in this case not because uh, well i think that the for the price is it's okay um it's around 250 euros uh well for a eighth generation core i9 well maybe it's okay but a hey, not for a uh, Intel Celeron. Come on, what is that? Actually, what is, what is the real price of this thing? So maybe 50 euros. Um, this um, scammer uh, is uh, getting a lot of money. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the real price, but I know for sure that this is an scam. As simple as that it's a fake product so uh, I cannot tell you the vendor um, the platform because uh, now um, I fighting I fighting to get uh, the money back all right but uh, yeah Intel seller the luck again come on but th this, is, this is a joke mainboard the full stream the full stream come on what is that <laughs> benchmark wow funny bench cpu <laughs> come on L let me choose a reference this is interesting let me choose a reference for nine intel current seven generation <laughs> come on really eh? if you are a, a real core i9 come on you lose again a uh, old generation this is a joke this actually is a joke as simple as that wow incredible 
Wow, look at that guys Look at that Let me move the camera Intel Celeron I just restart the machine I didn't touch anything Just to show to another viewer the, the truth about the BIOS and suddenly I restart and surprise Intel Celeron wow amazing look at this let's go quickly on device manager I don't know what's going on <laughs> it's amazing come on the lag ah, processor here processor no no way no 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 amazing no way let me move over here look at that <laughs> core i9 intel Celero on the same machine really really look at this it's the same machine wow well sorry mr scammer but you fail you fail the modification on the Windows operating system, sorry, but doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that. This is the truth. It's an Intel Celeron. All right, like this. Let me let me close the tax manager. Let's see what happens now. Close the tax manager. No, like again. Come on, come on. Where is the mouse? Here. Tax manager performance oh <laughs> did you see that oh now surprise magic it's an intel core i9 <laughs> no way what an scam amazing wow wow this is a joke this is amazing <laughs> oh my goodness guys um the scan is seen that is bigger than i thought before because a part of the fake processor let's see the storage because also it seems that the storage is fake look at that uh four partitions this is the usb that we are going to use to to run the, the programs to verify everything but um, this is suspicious because it comes like this with four partitions mm, wait it's supposed that the DX is a SSD, uh, actually MB, ME um, of uh, one terabyte, but uh, hmm, very strange. Why is, uh, you know, separate on four different partition? Uh, well, let's uh, check out first. Let's go here to device manager let's see if we can um, discover the truth disk drive ssd one terabyte mm, all right okay properties uh, all right driver details okay nothing nothing else apart of the information hmm, generated disk but let's try to uncover the truth so Let's go to computer management. Also, you can go directly to disk management, but let's see it from here. Huh. All right. Let's see. Volume, volume, volume. All right. Let me check properties. Local hard drive. Okay. Okay. Well, we have 500 gigs plus 300 gigs here plus well 100 something uh, yeah maybe almost one terabyte but of course uh, on the hard drive space uh, every time that you uh, format the hard drive uh, you need to rest the the space that the partition um, use and um, yes it's okay so huh dx0 what <laughs> what is that no no way recovery partition show like a 
1000 megabytes. Uh, <laughs> uh, strange, strange. So here, here. Well, from here, it's just one disk. Disk zero. Actually, this is the same to check um, the information on the device manager. But uh, let me check something. All right, it's a basic disk. Let me see if there is no hidden trick here. For example, I don't know, maybe a virtual hard drive or something. Nothing here and nothing here. All right, so let's check out with the hardware info. What is the opinion of the hardware info? Let's start. Well, already know that this is a Celeron. Of course, the full string <laughs> motherboard, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, drive um, one terabyte. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. The model, of course, the model of the hard drive is uh, SSD one terabyte. No, no way. There is no Kingston, no uh, Crucial, no Samsung, no Western Digital. No, no, of course. Everybody know about the SSD one terabyte manufacturer. So I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Uh, well, serial number, mm, drive capacity. All right. Version, version, version. Well, maybe, maybe it's true, but hmm, who knows? It's, it's quite suspicious uh, about the fact that the, the the processor is fake, starting with that. And uh, let me check because there is another surprise. There is another surprise here on the memory. Hmm. Wait a second, wait a second, 8 gigabytes, wait, model number 2, 8 gigabytes, hmm, wait a second, wow, no way, it seems that the scan is getting bigger and bigger, one second, tax manager, performance, uh it's supposed that are 16 gigs of run huh interesting because maybe model number two is meaning that there is the two slot of eight gigs each one but uh, i only see one model of eight gigs uh, <laughs> well 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 huh. interesting memory memory oh wow number of the model only one. <laughs> oh my goodness it's fake unbelievable oh uh, no no let's uh, check out this with the cpu c Portable edition from cpuid.com. No sponsor, by the way. Please sponsor me. Memory. Huh. Size. Interesting. 16 gigs, but here, a slot number two, a slot number one. Wow. No way. Slot number two. 8 gigs. What? A slot number one is empty. Wow, what is that? One slot, eight gigs, but wow, but you said 16 gigs? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is the exactly number two, only one, eight gigs. Wow, what an scam. Wow, 
yep only one slot is used with only 8 gigs of RAM but uh, the scam is so I don't know how to say this uh, because it's not professional come on uh, things like a uh, default string really come on this is uh, I mean it's, it's not a professional scammer <laughs> but in some way these people manage to fool the operating system and even this program to think that they have 16 gigs of RAM but this is the truth how many slots? two well one of the slots is empty wow unbelievable wow but the hard drive wow I don't know I don't know because uh, hmm I have my, my doubts about the the real size uh, yeah for example uh, if this uh, hard drive uh, were um, uh, Samsung or Western Digital or, you know something like that uh, I can use a, a specific program but this manufacturer I don't know Hmm. Interesting. Wow, guys, this is uh, amazing. Look what I found. Maybe, well, uh, I don't see it. It's not clear for me. Wait, close. Look at this computer, this PC, properties. What kind of PC is this? Look, fake Core i9. Install it run 16 gigs. Oh, but wait, you can only use 8 gigs. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? That's it. This is the proof. Even with the thing with the, this operating system that's been ma manipulated, was modified. The operating system said, hey, wait, 16 gigs, but only 8 gigs. You can use only 8 gigs. <laughs> Come on. Wow. The, those uh, scammers. Wow. Oof, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. Only 8 gigs of RAM. And this is the proof. And this, and with the program that uh, I run before. Only one slot is filled with 8 gigs. Only uh, one uh, DIN slot. Is filled with eight gigs and even the window said hey wait but only eight only eight yeah 16 but well you can use only eight wow come on incredible you may wonder how this a uh, fake uh, uh, Intel Celeron that <laughs> appeared as a core i9 uh, with only eight gigs of RAM when they appear as a 16 gigs can be worse well, pay attention, because the scam, the scam is not only in the hardware. Let me, let me show you. It's quite simple. <laughs> the total price of this device is around 220 euros. All right. Well, when you talk with the vendor, he says, all right, no problem. Uh, and I'm going to give you he start with 50 euros <laughs> then 85 euros now finally he offer 100 euros they offer 100 euros so wait wait you can think well what is the problem uh well you don't see it if you pay 220 minus 100 you pay for this fake computer 120 euros <laughs> what is that if you want actually if you want a celeron computer with 8 gigs of RAM 
you directly go to any web page and just buy it as simple as that not something that with this fake offer of a core i9 16 gigs of ram with this price so this is a scam i mean this is double a scam because the first uh, scam is a fake product and the second one because he offered in my case 100 euros so wait a second wait a second so what is the real cost of this thing he's getting 120 euros <laughs> he's still uh, making business so as simple as that it's, it's incredible what is the real cost of this thing 50 euros so his profit is i don't know 70 euros so it's, it's amazing it's double scan so please don't get scan pay attention as i said before be careful with this kind uh with this kind of a uh, fake product if i want a real product like this for example core i9 8 generation is not the latest one so when i check the price i don't see anything strange because well come on it's a eight generation actually it's a it, it's supposed that it's a um, cpu for for laptop computers so i think that the price is okay so nowadays 16 gigs of ram are cheaper nowadays but come on not this one not a celeron computer with only the half of ram but come on this double scan hardware and this well i i don't know if actually it's uh, 50 euros is um is a uh, i'm guessing but with this this vendor is still making profit well guys uh, that's it please be careful don't get a scam please be safe and remember see you on the next video